Tomatoes will grow very well in mulch or finished compost, but not well at all in a hot compost pile. I feel this distinction is important to make because it occurred to me that my recent videos on growing potatoes and building soil at the same time may not have been as clear as I intended. In the videos, I described how I planted potatoes in a bed of leaves and used coffee grounds that had aged in the garden over the winter. I also added worm castings and red wigglers to each planting hole and extra used coffee grounds to the leaves. Over the course of the next few weeks, as the plants grew, I gradually added more leaves, compost, red wigglers and their castings, comfrey, green yard waste, ground eggshells, used coffee grounds, and a little sand. I'm hoping that the red wigglers will break down the organic matter in the bed and that their castings will provide nutrients for the potatoes and stimulate their growth. And after the harvest, I should have some great garden soil for future crops. That said, the process of layering organic matter does resemble in some ways how one would build a hot compost pile, so I thought it was important to draw some distinctions. One way to look at it is that I'm trying to create a potato bed that is much more like a worm bin than a compost pile. When growing potatoes or raising red wigglers, high temperatures are the enemy. The ideal temperature range for red wigglers is between 55 and 77 degrees Fahrenheit. They'll survive over a much wider range, but this is where they're most comfortable. Coincidentally, potatoes prefer temperatures in a very similar range, and tubers won't form very well if the soil temperature is consistently above 80 degrees Fahrenheit. So when adding my mulch ingredients, I'm careful to do it in a way that doesn't significantly increase the temperature. First, I'm not piling the mulch very high. The bed is 10 and 3 quarters inches deep. There are a couple of inches of soil at the bottom, and I've only mulched up to 1 and a half inches from the top. So that's only 7 and a half inches of mulch. If you've made a hot compost pile before, you know that you have to build it higher than that to get it cooking. Second, I've added quite a bit of finished compost and worm castings and some sand to the bed, which won't generate heat. Finally, though I've added green ingredients that could create heat when combined with leaves, I keep their volume low enough so as not to cause any trouble. But just to confirm I'm not creating a hot compost pile here, let's take a look at the temperature of the potato bed compared to the neighboring blueberry bed. My compost thermometer has been in the middle of the potato bed for several minutes now and is reading just barely 71 degrees Fahrenheit, which is perfect for red wigglers and potatoes. And checking the temp of the blueberry bed, it's a slightly cooler 69 degrees. So it's possible that the mulch is generating a little heat, but not nearly enough to be concerned about. I hope this clarifies the approach I'm taking with my potatoes. As always with gardening, I can't say for sure if we'll have a bumper crop. But so far everything is looking good, and it doesn't look like the potatoes will cook before the harvest. Well that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching. And until next time, remember, you can change the world one yard at a time.